Hi everybody, it's Richard here again and welcome to another video. Now this is my response to the tag that Chris at Stylus Meets Vinyl put up about a month ago. Yes, I'm really late to this. I've seen um, Rob Walker do a response and I've also seen uh, Ross Goodall do a response uh, as well as Chris's original video. I thought it was great and there's eight questions. The tag is called You're the Producer and some of these questions I think are fantastic. So let's get started. The first one is a song that doesn't open an album that you think should open the album. And the first one that jumped to mind and I'm sticking with it is this album here, Billy Joel Turnstiles. Now it does open with the great Say Goodbye to Hollywood which I love. But the, th um, the second track on the second side, Prelude, Angry Young Man, is to me the obvious choice as an opener. It's like a two section song. You really get the uh, Billy showing his piano skills off at the start. Then it goes into a really catchy part as well and I think it's fantastic. What I would have done, I would have put it as the opener and I would have actually put Say Goodbye to Hollywood as the opener of side two because it opens with James and I don't think it's a good enough uh, side two opener. So that's my answer to that one. Prelude, Angry Young Man to open turnstiles. A song that wasn't a single that you think should have been. And this is an album that a lot of people seem to hate. It's Paul McCartney's Press to Play. I actually really like this album and in fact I don't think he's even bettered this album since um, this was released. Uh, well maybe McCartney 3 is up there. But there were three singles off this um, in the UK. Press which is excellent. Pretty Little Head which is a real experimental song and I'm glad he had the nerve to actually release it. And then Only Love Remains which is a McCartney ballad. There's one song off here I would have released rather than Only Love Remains and that's Footprints. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it has an almost festive uh, feel to it. And there's also a little bit of like um, a Madonna's La Isla Bonita feel to it as well. I think it's one of his best songs. It's not really, it is a ballad, but it's not really a ballad. Um, it's not uh, a dirge. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous song. Uh, I would have had that as a single instead of Only Love Remains. Okay, question three. Artwork you would send back for a redo, and it's this one here. It's the Rolling Stones, uh, dirty work, and I have a feeling they realised this artwork was dreadful. That's why they put it in a uh, tinted shrink wrap, which is red. I bought this in 1986. It has never come out of that shrink wrap, not just because of the hype sticker that stuck to it, but because the album underneath is dreadful, which I'm going to show now. So those bright colours, you actually need sunglasses to look at it. It's not so bad with the red tinted sleeve, but all CD releases have it without any sort of covering. So that's one I would send by, the Rolling Stones, Dirty Work. Um, a song that I would extend, and this is the Smith's Hat Full of Hollow. It's actually the B side of William It Was Really Nothing, and the song is called Please, Please, Please. Let me get what I want. Now it is like an acoustic number and then there's a gorgeous mandolin at the end and it comes in under two minutes. You know, I would have liked some sort of extension to the song. Now I know Morrissey whenever he performs it live, he more or less sings the first verse again before the mandolin, but I would like a little bit more mandolin as well. But it's absolutely a beautiful song, it's just a pity it's under two minutes. And uh, yeah. Please, 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 let me get what I want, is my choice. Okay, number five, a song I would cut short. Now, I'm going to get killed for this, but seriously, I think from Pink Floyd Animals, Dogs, is 17 minutes long. It's too long. I don't think there's enough variation in the song to justify it being 17 minutes. The highlight of it for me is the guitar refrain from Dave Gilmore. Um, I still like the song even though it's far too long but a 10 minute version I think would be great. It's a little bit like uh, Shine On You Crazy Diamond 
whenever they released that on the double CD Echoes they cut it down and I think it's better but um, a lot of Floyd fans will kill me for it but I think it's just slightly too long it's still my favourite track off the album though but just slightly too long right a double album that I would cut to a single now I'm definitely going to get killed for this one and for me it's George Harrison's um, All Things Must Pass now yes this is a triple album however really nobody ever plays Apple Jam so it's technically a double album with a free uh, disc um, I find it hard to listen to two albums in a row of George Harrison with his voice now, I appreciate this is a very very good album but not everything works for me in this so rather than just say oh I think this should have been a single album I'm going to show you what my single album would be and this is it here now as you can see I slightly changed the title but yeah there's some really really good songs off this and I appreciate this a lot more than I used to I used to think this was just so overrated I still think it is slightly overrated and it would be much better for me anyway as a single album okay um, a record I would retitle for question 7 and it's David Bowie's Never Let Me Down now the track Never Let Me Down is on this but there's a track called Glass Spider on this that I would have called the album Glass Spider because the tour that followed was the Glass Spider tour not the Never Let Me Down tour, the Glass Spider tour and it's another one where the cover I just don't like um, I would have thrown that back and asked for something new and saying that though the 2018 uh, redoing of the album has got a better cover and at some stage I'm going to do an album more between this and the 2018 version well it's not his best album by a long chalk but um, it's gone up a little bit in my estimations it's still well at the bottom half uh, bottom third even or bottom quarter but still um, never let me down I think it's a very boring title Glass Spider would have been much better and the last question question 8 uh, a song that doesn't end an album that you think should now ABBA the album ends with I'm a Marionette now I can understand why it does end with I'm a Marionette because if you actually listen to the words of the little uh, mini musical it has thank you for the music I wonder and I'm a Marionette and yes they progress in the actual words however I would have dropped the mini musical altogether and just had three songs just three separate songs and I would have definitely have finished this album with thank you for the music and I would have uh, put I'm a marionette as the second last song and I wonder as the third song on side two so thank you for the music would have been my closer okay so that's uh, my reply to a great tag by Chris uh, Stylist Meets Vinyl please check out his channel I'll put a link below to his channel and I hope other people I'm sure other people have done this that I haven't seen and I am really late but I still fancy doing it so thanks again Chris for setting this up I really enjoy doing it okay that's me for now and I hope to have another video quite soon all the best now bye bye